So, welcome to Body Memories. And um, Body Memories is, I guess, what I want to do is first to say like a little bit of who I am, where the work came from. You know, it wasn't just made up in someone's basement. And it has a history and a language. And, um, but so I am, I'm Robert Carlson, Muller, and I studied sports medicine work. In San Diego, I studied um, under John Harris, who's an Olympic trainer, and ran the Ironman for a few years in, in um, Hawaii. But so I studied a lot of the mechanical, hands-on things. And you know, sports medicine, there's funny because a lot of things they say you can't do. Like, you have a knee, you can't work on it. And you're like, no. But a lot of this works, it says, oh, you can work on a knee. And you know, if you have a joint problem, you can work on that. You know, so I kind of like, you know, metaphysics and, and alternatives. Uh, I grew up in California with a hippie mom, and so I got exposed to a lot of <laughs> healing modalities. And I guess I have a criteria for healing modalities, and the criteria is that, um, A, I have to be able to do it when no one else is around. So I have to be able to do my healing, you know, I can't always have a, a someone in the room in order for me to do it. You know, I have to, it has to be like that. And also, I, it has to be like a body-centered psychology. It has to be something that makes sense to me. You know, so it really brings it in. And so, um, but you know, so it's, I, I like things that manifest on this planet, I guess, you know, and I, I do believe, you know, a lot of the other healing works I do, they, they do have, they change me physically. But that's one of the reasons I really like the body memories work. And um, so I studied there and I've been to the Yogananda Center and all the different healing centers as a child. I grew up in the Theosophical Society. So, you know, I always get experienced all these Different, and I like to think those are all my, my teachers. All those people were my teachers. You know, they all shared their life with me. And I hope to just continue sharing my life and the information that they gave me. So, um, that's a little bit of I am. The work, the body memories, has been a work that's been evolving since the 60s. Uh, in the 60s, it was called dance medicine. It's also what was called natural yoga at one point because the body actually moves by itself, which is like. You know, the body starts to find its own path and its own movement, and we'll talk a little bit about that more. Um, but mostly it's been called body, um, body harmony. It was a, a, a gentleman, um, Don McFarlane, and he was a great, he wrote this book, he wrote a series of books, and Body Secrets is a great book, um, especially if you're, it's an apprentice for healers and sorcerers. I thought it was very appropriate, because it really does talk about the magic in body work. And um, this is a gentleman who traveled all around the world, and would study with any shamanism, any person would teach him. And so a lot of this work does come from nature. And, and I can talk a little bit more about that, how I use it with nature, and how it just, it's, it's a very natural work. And um, so body memories is, uh, and uh, body harmony is being taught all around the world. There's thousands of practitioners that are in like four different continents. So if you ever want to look up, you know, um, body harmony, they, um, the one, there's some major differences between us and body harmony, and I can always go into that on a, on a more technical side note, but they, you know, they have a lot of similarities too. And I think one of the major differences is that we, um, we, when we find an, uh, an issue or a tightness, we like to just hang out there on the spot, kind of like that Buddhist we were talking about before, and just hang there and be with that spot and make sure it's okay, and if the person wants to, to change, that, that, that there's, that, that tightness and that trauma is okay the way it is. And just to really recognize and honor that space and that love for it the way it is currently. And, and then if it changes, it's, it's okay to change. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And the other groups, a lot of times it's more forcing or pushing or wanting to find an edge. So on a technical and even on a spiritual level, that's, that's the major difference, I guess I would say, about the works. So I kind of really like that. So, you know, if you find it, we work with the tissue, the tissue is moving, if it's not moving, you find an edge, you find an emotional edge for somebody, you don't go further, you just sit there and you just have compassion for it, and you're just like, okay, you're okay the way you are. Instead, most modalities are like, change, change, you know, I used to do shiatsu, come on, change. People are like, oh my God, I can't believe you're paying, I'm paying you for this. <laughs> you know, I went to the client said that, I'm like, oh my God. He was like, oh, I'm like, well, you gotta tell me about it, you know. So this, you know, body memories is just like, it's like loving that spot. And it really is, it's just like accepting where it is, not, not trying to force a change. And I just find that like a lot of the healing work, there is like, there's some, okay, I found something, there's something wrong with it, now I've got to fix it. It's like a car mechanic. 
but you know we don't have that mentality, and, and that's why I talk sometimes. Like, I don't know, refer to the Buddhist mentality sometimes a lot in this. So, then that is a little bit of the history of body memories, where it came from. It does have a legacy, and then um, my teacher had studied with Don McFarland for many years, and he um, he actually branched off, and it was called Unlimited Body, and he started a whole organization, which is no longer.